There is a mystique about space travel that has always attracted the attention of humans. Exploring the unknown, being the first, one only has to look into the night sky to be mesmerised. Since we first stepped foot on the moon, the desire to explore even further into the universe has only grown. The largest machine on Earth, the Hadron Collider, has been built for no other reason than better understanding the universe and where we fit. To make the leap into space travel, we need to be prepared to step into a dangerous and complex environment. Yet space travellers will be asking some of the same questions we ask ourselves before any journey. What should we take? What will we wear? Will it all fit in our bag? What will the weather be like? What will our mode of transport be? And how much energy will we need to make the journey? But in space, the answers to these questions can be much more complex. The room we have available is limited. Everything we take must have multiple uses. What we wear won't win a beauty contest. They'll face the extremes of weather and excess weight will influence how much energy we'll consume and if we can make it back. Design for human habitation and minimising space is nothing new. Success in many industries is dependent on how responsive we are to these issues. The aerospace, automotive and shipbuilding industries are a couple of good examples. In aerospace, human factor design focuses on space, weight and comfort. In automotive design, a great deal of focus is on style, comfort and safety. Yet in space, style and comfort may not be our primary objectives. A design task as complex as space travel is the design of a submarine. A submarine is a floating city that must contain every facility to support its crew, similar to space. It undertakes long trips into environments as hostile as space. It must stay underwater for extended periods. It must carry everything needed for a long journey. And it must protect its occupants from the harsh world outside. Up until the 1980s, designing human environments was undertaken using drawing boards and physical mock-ups or models. Today, the design environment is much different. Engineers design in virtual environments and use digital mannequins to determine an environment's suitability for human use. In a car, it's ensuring we can reach all the buttons without taking our seatbelt off. In a plane, it's about designing how comfortable we can make 300 people on a 15-hour flight to Los Angeles. In a submarine, it's how to feed and sleep 80 crew members for months at a time. And in a spacecraft or on the surface of, say, Mars, it's how we make things light, compact and yet functional. Design for space has always pushed engineering to the limit, yet it's been the birthplace for technologies that will continue to change our lives, from computers to carbon fibre, communication and medicine. It's applying space technology to everyday life that continues to make the world a better place. The opportunities for students to work in space industries are growing. Many more similar careers already exist in industries that take the space industry's outcomes and apply them to everyday life. Space in Schools is a series of STEM design challenges that help students find out about different careers and thus chart their own journey to success. Space in Schools is a set of linked collaborative projects designed to build in the participants employability skills and expose them to the many career options in industry and particularly the space industry. The first of these challenges has students in years 5 to 11 designing a biomedical space hub to be located on Mars. The challenge tasks school students to design and build a virtual biomedical space hub proposed for construction on the surface of the Red Planet. The student's task is to form a virtual design company that will bid for the biomedical space hub design. They'll have to build a 3D model of the space hub and then present their design ideas to a team of industry judges. The challenge is an exciting and fun learning environment for students. Students are encouraged to go beyond the minimum, be creative, innovative and explore different design options. The program will expose students to 3D design software and opportunities for creativity. The problem will introduce students to virtual reality software, help them develop problem-solving skills 
and promote working and contributing in a team environment. The second project has students designing and building a Mars transport vehicle, or an MTV. This is aimed at students in years 7 through 12. It's linked to an international competition that takes in-class STEM learning to a whole new level. This program has run in Australia since 2014 and our teams have achieved great success on the international stage. Student teams not only design and construct a vehicle with a trailer, they have to incorporate remote controlled steering and use it to negotiate an extreme obstacle course while the clock's ticking. This combination of mechanics and electronics is similar to the challenges faced by professional automotive engineers. The program involves developing concepts and detailed CAD design through to manufacturing, assembly and testing, whilst at the same time collaborating with industry. It develops teamwork, project management, self-promotion and public speaking, while engaging student interest in mechatronics and integrating microprocessor technologies. A fundamental differentiator for the Space in Schools MTV Challenge is the requirement for students to work directly with industry partners in the context of their projects. The third of the projects is aimed at primary students. It has student teams design and construct a method of loading a payload from a platform onto the MTV, designed by a separate group of students. Slightly less complex in content, the goal is to introduce primary students to the concept of collaborating with older students learning from them and solving problems together. Each project is standalone, but schools can edit teams in each category and have them all collaborate and work together. For teachers, this project is all about getting students to think through human habitation, brainstorm a broad range of ideas and concepts, and then rationalise the best of these to meet the design criteria. Each project has students draw on knowledge and skills in science, technology, engineering and maths, and then using this knowledge in the context of solving a real-world problem. Space in Schools is all about fun. It brings career relevance to STEM learning activities, it encourages students to consider careers and a learning pathway related to STEM, providing an alternative learning and skill development pathway in schools. It facilitates a cross-curricular education environment to enhance the education system outcomes, Space in Schools is all about creating the future innovators who will build Australia's economic future.